guys, this is Nikki. This is the Duke and Duchess TV special. I am so, 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 so excited. This is a huge day for Duke and Duchess TV, a huge day for the Hollywood community. We are live at the Lucky Strike Film Festival, put on by our very own well-known Romain Simon. He's got a bunch of films today, and we are having a big, big, big award ceremony. And one of our very own from Duke and Duchess TV will be receiving an award today, so it's a huge deal. And I am with this lovely gentleman here. Tell me who you are. I'm Ahab from Moscow. He's a champion. He's a world champion of the boxing. What year? Uh, 83 years. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what brings you to the festival? What brings you to the festival? He's a he's a good friend with the Ryman. He do the same projects together, and uh, he's a good friend. And he want to support him, so he, that's what he come here for. To, just to say thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm supporting Romain as well. He's a good friend of mine for like uh, a lot of years. Uh, I have a flower shop and I help him out with flowers and different stuff. So. You have a flower shop? Where's your flower shop? Yeah, that's yeah, called the Wildflower and it exists 1973 and it exists on Tampa in Roscoe in Northridge. So I run it for 11 years and I'm happy what I do. And, uh, I will definitely have to check that out. Well, we thank you. Use my website at www.sendwildflowers.com. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy the festival. Thank you. Thank you with the phenomenal actress, Miss Carla Short. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful today. How are you doing? I am good. And we are here at the Lucky Strike Film Festival. Now tell me, what is your involvement with Lucky Strike Films? My involvement is I was asked to come in support of Roman Simon. He's an awesome director, friend, and all of the above. I have worked in many of his films. I will be doing a short talk about him and some of the films and how I have worked with him, what a joy it has been and to present the award for best short film today. Wow, wow, wow. So how do you feel that this is all coming together? Um, nervous, but yet exciting. Um, it's something I've never done, so of course I'm gonna be a little bit nervous. And pray that I don't start doing no crazy crying in the middle of it, but uh, you know, we're gonna pull it off and we're gonna do our best. Right on. Well, I hope you enjoy the festival. Do you have a message for Romain or for the community? Too? I have a message for Romain. He is one of the best, and I thank him forever for everything he has done for me in my life, all the chances he has given me, and the belief that he had in me. He believed in me when other directors didn't for a huge role. And it's like to come from where I came from, it's a big deal. Okay, and um, just never quit following your dreams. If you have a dream, please follow it and stay positive. Be kind to one another. Positive and happiness will take you a long ways in this life. Trust me, I know. I used to be evil and mean and had no one. But today, I have all these wonderful people that are my friends who believe in me and give me courage and strength. Thank you so much. Good luck today. Enjoy the festival. We are live here, and I'm here with this gentleman. Tell me who you are. I'm Ali D'Souza. Right, nice to meet you. And what, what brings you to the festival? Well, I have the very honor and privilege of directing an action film called Jackson Bolt. It just completed. It's nominated for some of the awards here tonight, so we are in here to hope people enjoy the film. It seemed like they did, and uh, it's great. I love being around film. So um, how long have you been involved in film? Uh, longer than it looks like. <laughs> No, I actually have been involved, yeah, I did my first film at 13 years old on Super 8 millimeter, millimeter film. So I've been doing film quite a while. I act, I write, I produce, and I direct. So aside from Lucky Strike Films, is there anything else that we may know about? Uh, well, you know, we just we were just in, uh, got three nominations in the action, uh, the Las Vegas Action Film Festival. I didn't, wasn't able to go because I was on set. We got three nominations there, the Hollywood uh, Stars Film Festival, we got another nomination there. So the film seems to be really well received, uh, so it's pretty exciting, you know? Wow, wow. So what can we expect next from you? 
I actually have a film that just came out. Uh, it's a prequel. It's a 30-minute short called Blood Freedom, but we're shooting the feature of that right now. It's just been accepted in some really big festivals. It's my regular genre, which is drama or psychological thriller. It's kind of a combination of both. It's a historical film, and it talks about the fall of the Confederacy. And it follows one African family from then, and then in the feature it goes into the 21st century. So it's called Blood Freedom of Men and Beasts, and the feature is just called Blood Freedom. So I'm excited about that one, too. That sounds really interesting. I'm looking forward to that, actually, very much. Well, do you have a message for Romaine this evening on this big night? A message for who? Romaine Simon. Uh, oh, yeah, for Romaine. Romaine, first of all, thank you so much for putting on this festival and inviting us here. You're doing your thing, mate. You should keep on doing your thing and live your dream. And you seem to be living it. And I hope we work together as well, too. So thank you so much. And I appreciate you having us here for the Jackson Bowl team. Again, I'm Ali D'Souza. Just to direct it was a team effort, and James Wright, I just, I'm really ecstatic about being here, okay? Yeah, thank you thank so much. Thank you so much. And I am with? Jim Meyer. All right, hello Jim, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you having a good time so far? I, I'm having a great time, we're very proud of what we did. We created a little movie called Jackson Bolt, and uh, we're very, very happy. Great, great crowd uh, response, and uh, we think great things are going to happen in this movie. So tell me a little bit about the movie for those who didn't. It's about a kind of a, a dirty, hairy, kind of uh, well, almost a lethal weapon type character uh, played by Robert Parham, who's an ex-kickboxer. Uh, and some terrible things happen, uh, uh, but mostly it's just a lot of violence, a lot of fun, a few jokes here and there. And uh, I, I think it's going to be worth your while. It's, it's, it's basically an action lover's movie. Sounds good. So tell, can you tell us a little bit about your history, your work history? Um, all right. Well, me personally, I'm the uh, writer, uh, co-executive producer, and I, I play the uh, lead uh, bad guy in the movie. I'm a very villainous person. Uh, the history on this is basically Robert Parham and I, we met about uh, five, six years ago when we were doing a, a little film festival in Vacaville. He brought in some shorts. Uh, I was looking to meet people uh, who were into the same thing. We got together and became good buddies ever since then. And uh, we started with some shorts and kind of grew to do this feature uh, with a very low budget, with a lot of heart and a lot of fun. And, uh, and then we've got, of course, Fred the Hammer Williamson in the movie, who he's a legend. And uh, you can't go wrong with Fred, of course. Wonderful. So what can we expect next from you? Uh, we're working on a movie called Soul Cage. It's kind of a, a female Rocky movie and uh, with uh, Kirby Delani, who's here tonight. She's the brick-breaking champion of the world. She broke 180 bricks in about a minute with her hands. So you're going to want to track her down and interview her soon. Yes, yeah, I might need her around. Especially <laughs> if you've got bricks that haven't been broken, they need to be yes. broken. Well, do you have a message for Romaine Simon on this day? Uh, I would say uh, thank you very much for, uh, for watching and, and having us here. And don't ever stop doing what you're doing. And uh, just go for it. And look who I found. <laughs> the Duke and Duchess of all Stockton Media and today North Hollywood Media. It's truly an honor to be here. It's always an honor to be interviewed by you guys. I'm really excited about the festival. This is the inaugural year of the Lucky Strike Film Festival. Roman Simon is a genius. I'm not just saying that because it's festival, but I've been honored to work with him as an actor. I'm honored to be a part of this tonight. I'm a presenter. I'm a nominee. Hopefully I'm a double awardee. I don't want to jinx it. But I'm very <laughs> excited. My film Strangers in a Book premiered earlier today. It screened earlier today. So it's great being here. I love it. It's like a lot of uh, American actors, Haitian, European, Everyone. Asian. He makes it like a little mini UN. Yes. So a good one. Yeah, <laughs> a really not a boring one. Like that's like C-SPAN. Like a good yeah, one. A good one. An entertaining one. Different people. A bunch of colorful people. I love it. So I'm losing track now. How many times have I interviewed you? <laughs> I feel like it's. I hope it's like every day of my life. Right. Right. I feel like at, we're going on like at least once a month now. <laughs> I believe so. I believe so. So I'm really excited to be a part of this. Again, Roman is amazing. He brought all these people. It's like an exodus to North Hollywood. This is the most action North Hollywood I think has ever gotten. Yeah. So, yeah, we need to bring Fabulous. our fans for all the heat and the, you know. So tell me, what are you looking forward to the most from this festival? I like to see who the young awardee is. The, the, what is it, the Young Artist Award? I'm excited about that. 
Uh, I like seeing the media people awarded because they deserve it. Yes. Especially a certain one in particular, and a vest and a bow tie. So I'm excited about that. And um, do you have a message for Romaine Simon before we sign out? It's more like a statement. I never realized all the things that he did until I saw this festival. He was very hands-on. Usually when people have festivals, you see them in their bow tie. He's been there every step of the way. So my message to him is you are amazing. Uh, you're such creative. You're left brain, you're right brain. You're, this is very entrepreneurial. This is great for filmmakers. You're doing amazing work. I don't know when you have the time to sleep. So I just admire you and thank you for this opportunity. And look who I found. Shot to And how are you guys doing? Good. I'm great. How are you? So ah, thank you. So good to see you guys. Yes, Amazing. I didn't know you were gonna be here. Boom! Surprise! Happy Friday. What brings you to the festival? Um, just networking, meeting up with friends, seeing the movie, all that good stuff. Yes. Did you watch any of the movie? <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Full disclosure. Are they? Yeah, yeah, awesome. Heck yeah. Okay, so um, how's Two East Ties going? Oh my gosh. So great, you guys. So I've like I partnered up with the American Cancer Society. So I'm doing bow ties for them. Um, huge events coming up for that. Um, I am partnering with another couple companies just doing runaway stuff. Always, every single day, making a new bow tie, keeping it different, unique. That's it. Just also, also, a little sneak peek for you guys. I'm inventing a few different ways to wear a bow tie. So watch out in the, the near future. Wow. Are you making bow ties for girls, like something trendy that girls can wear? Um, very soon. Very soon. It'll be, it'll be a lingerie line of bow ties for women. Oh, put me in the game, coach. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So you need to have me, like, in one modeling. Neck model. Yes. Boom. <laughs> absolutely. Make sure I have, like, long hair. It's like, I'll just show my neck. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, other than that, what can we expect next from you? Um, next will just be the launch of my, my products, of the inventions, um, and just future shows, new bow ties. All right. Yeah. Well, it was so good to, see, to see you. you Thank you for the interview. You're Have welcome. fun at the festival. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and tell the people who you are. Hi, I'm Robert Parham, and today we screened uh, our film Jackson Bolt. Uh, where I think it was a pretty successful screening. I've been hearing a lot about that. It was successful. <laughs> uh, every, everybody's been saying that was the hit right there. <laughs> so tell me a little about your involvement in that. Well, I'm the co-executive producer with my partner, James E. Meyer. And I'm the lead actor um, and uh, fight choreographer. So, so what's, what is this film about for people that don't know? You can give me a brief one. Uh, briefly, it's uh, about a cop trying to clear his name from the death of his partner. You know, but there's a lot of other subplots in it with the husband and the wife not getting along and the, the pimp wanting to be a killer and the fight promoter wanting to get his revenge. So it's a lot. <laughs> Sounds interesting. So um, aside from that, do you have any other work that we might be familiar with? Um, I've been in, oh gee whiz, a lot of films in the past. Um, this was my first big one as a lead, so I'm looking forward to doing more films like that. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So um, but in the past, I've done some films. I was with, uh, they were mostly shot in the Bay Area, okay. action films. You know, um, I'm usually the bad guy or a cop. Yeah. So. Where are you from? Uh, I live in Fairfield now. Fairfield? Fairfield. Northern California. Northern California. Okay. Yeah, five okay. hour drive down there. I know. It's, we're, we're from Northern California. Oh, okay. right. Yes, we're from Stockton. Oh, okay. right down the street. <laughs> yes. Right down the street. That's why I thought I'd ask when you said the Bay Area. I said, oh, he might be from our area. <laughs> we might be neighbors. <laughs> so what can we expect from you next? Um, we, we're writing a sequel to Jackson Bolt. We have a western on the taps. We have a movie called Yasuki about the black samurai, a true story. We have that on the taps. We have about 16 or 17 other projects on the taps. Um, I have a lot of my friends who came out to support me today, guys like Art Camacho, guys like Steven Quadros, Eddie Morales, Mel Novak. You know, all these people, they're going to be involved in my future production. So, wow. Wow. so they so, came to support to see what I had before they was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, how does it feel to be all the way from Northern California down here doing this? It's, it feels great. You get a chance to network, 
to meet like-minded people. You know, Romaine put together a great festival. I think everybody's having a great time. I'm having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> um, so before we close this, I know it's Romaine's birthday and all that right. also. Right. Do you have any special message from Romaine on this evening? I'm going to look right into the camera. Romaine, happy birthday. We love you. Thank you so much for giving independent film artists an opportunity to showcase their work. With the fabulous, fabulous, fabulous Stephanie Spiro, how are you doing? I'm blessed, dear heart. How are you? I'm doing really good. I'm glad I had this opportunity to interview you. Well, I'm blessed to be interviewed by you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is a love fest. Yes, you know so much love in this, in this general love. area. <laughs> First of all, before we dive into this interview, okay. your outfit's amazing. You, your hair is on point. I don't know if you noticed, but I was looking all up in your head. I was like looking, looking for a secret, but I couldn't find, but I couldn't find one. That's a good hairstyle. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Thank and I love the fur. I love the dress. Red is good. And the shoes. The shoes are on point. So. Uh, Valentino. Valentino is the bomb. They're comfortable. Amazing. Low heels and they still give you drama. Yeah, they still give you the perfect look. So yes. you did not come to play today. <laughs> I'm not playing up in here, girl. Playing at please. the festival. So, <laughs> Stephanie, you have a long list of things that you have done for the entertainment community in yes. general. Yes. And so I understand you're here at the film festival. What brings you to the film festival? Well, Ramon, right? And Lucky Strikes. And my manager, Robin Carmona, told me about it. So, And I'm also being honored. So that's yes. Well, congratulations. Yes, yeah, so for all of my work that I've done in this industry over the 30 wow. plus years. So you were telling me a few things that I really would love our viewers to know because I, everything you were telling me, I was just like, wow, wow. Wow. You know? <laughs> so, first of all, you you worked with singers, and you're a singer yourself. Yes, I am. So yes, I tell am. Tell us about your singing history. Oh, the, the people I've worked yes. with, um, Michael Jackson, you know, he called me at 3 o'clock in the morning to uh, do the, uh, put together the aggregation for Can You Feel It? You know, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? So I was part of that to put together the choir and the children's choir as well for him. And then Elton John, I did his albums for many years and I, I'm a percussionist as well. So I play percussion on his album um, and I uh, worked on that album in uh, Sydney, Australia. And of course I toured the world for five and a half years with Julio Iglesias. I have an international career, right? And um, so just everybody from Juan Gabriel to Barbara Streisand to even back to Umbi B. Pay to Toot. Okay, Donna Summer, bad yes. girls. I'm a bad girl. Okay. <laughs> bad girl. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I would make up all the background really? for a lot. Of, yes, a lot of the artists would call me to uh, put together the background singing for it, and I would hire the girls and we would sing. I usually sing the top, and then I just get some other two divas with me and we'll wear it out. And did that for many, many, many years on many, many hits, over 1,400 that I've worked on, and I have over 700 gold and platinum albums that I've worked on, and four Grammys. Wow. That, you know, from uh, What a Feeling for Irene Cara to Working Nine to Five for Dolly Parton. Yes. <laughs> You know, so I, I, I work from Bach to rock, yes. whether I'm singing classical with Placido Domingo, doing a duet of Besame Mucho, to whatever. How, you know. did, how did you get involved in that? Like, what got you there? Well, I've been in music all my life. You know, okay. I studied cello in school and was in choirs and started singing background for a lot of people. And uh, Jerry Peters told many producers about me, so one thing led to another. And being in David T. Walker's band, which Harvey Mason, you know, and Foreplay and all the different groups, they would call me. And, and just one thing led to another. So I'm very blessed to be working with everybody. So I know it must be a good feeling to be able to say, like, you knew Michael Jackson and he called you yes. at 3 a.m. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie, can you put together this aggregation? I set up like a board. I, said, I didn't even go back to sleep because the, because the session was, like, in two days. Mm -hmm. So it was amazing. I had to get together 50 people. So, but it was amazing. It was fabulous. It became a hit, and it's, and it's a classic today. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can. <laughs> so tell me about some of your TV work. Okay. Um, right now I have on Sweetie Pies on the Oprah Winfrey channel. You know, I produced uh, about three of her songs, and um, so that was wonderful doing that. And, um, oh, God, 
so many shows, I can't even think of them, so much is going on. Um, so I've done a lot of shows. Do, have you met Ofer? Who? Oprah, have you met Oprah? You know, I have not met, I've met everybody. Except for Oprah. I feel like she's very private. You know what, when I did the um, Gram, because I've done the Oscars and the Grammys, so I was on the show with Common and uh, Jay, um, Common and uh, Legend for the Song of Glory. Yes. And so I was, I did that with them at the Oscars. And who was sitting right in front of me? I'm on stage singing, you know, the Glory song, and Oprah was sitting right there. So. I'm her best buddy in my head. Oh, know? yes. I mean, she saw me sing, and she saw me do my thing. So I know Oprah. Yeah. In my head, Oprah's my mom in my head. She's, <laughs> oh, she's my bestie. Yeah, Oprah's my mom in my head. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I'm like, if I ever see Oprah, I'm going to tell her, I need a job. <laughs> Just, um, yeah, the worst she could say is no, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you have a great personality. Yeah, she, I think she hire you. I'm like, give me a job. <laughs> Anyways, so... You do have a book out. It is, yes, I, I hear it's a very good book. Tell me about that. Thank you. Thank you. I've imparting everything that I've learned thus far in this industry and what I teach at my school, Sproul House Music School of Voice and Artist Development. I'm an artist developer. So the name of my book is 17 Points to Longevity in Show Business, Staying Focused on Your Vision. You know, it's all about... There were 17 points that I have that I stick to. And each chapter, I started with my anecdotes and how I went through to get to the success I've had thus far. That sounds like a very good book and something, a good reading. journal in it, and it also has um, work study. So you can learn and also work on it as you uh, prog progress. That's why I tell them to work on it in pencil, because as you grow, you learn more, and then you answer the questions differently. You know, you as change. you grow, yes. yes, you do, and you're supposed to grow. You know, you change. That's wonderful. Actually, I'm going to check that book out. Thank you. I'm yes. going to look for it when I get home and order it. Longevity and show business. <laughs> wow. So you have this long catalog. You've even visited the White House. Oh yes, I performed at the White House three separate uh, administrations. So that was phenomenal to sing wow. for the presidents and dance with Mitterrand from France and, you know, so You do it all. You are also into fitness, I hear. Yes. You're a yes. fitness coach, I understand? No, I, I'm not a fitness coach, but physical well-being and oh, okay. emotional well-being, I think, work together. And that's Absolutely. what I have in my book. Mm -hmm. And so I teach that as I teach my students how to have longevity. You must have a regimen. You must take care of yourself. You must... You know, drink your water, take your herbs, you know, walk every day, yeah. exercise, you know. Do Is that why you look so good? <laughs> right, baby. It's all about longevity. <laughs> She's drinking the holy water. <laughs> holy water, baby. <laughs> well, it has been so much fun interviewing you. Oh, this is one of my favorite interviews ever. Oh. Now, we're at this Lucky Strike Film Festival, and it is Romaine Simon's birthday also. Oh, it is? Yes, it's his birthday today. Okay. Uh, Should I sing happy birthday to him? Do you want to? I was going to ask if you had a message for him, but if you want to sing, okay, you're more than welcome. Okay, my message is... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, 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 oh. Happy birthday to you, Ramon. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ramon. God bless you. And success on your film festival, your first film festival. God bless you. And I am with this awesome band. Tell me who you are. Hey guys, my name is Sonia Harley. And uh, my bandmates. Hello, bandmates. Hello, I'm Johnny Blade. And I'm Charles. What brings you all to the film festival? Uh, actually, um, I've been knowing Simon for a little while. He's very cool, great director, good energy. And I have a few songs placed on some of his movies. And so that's, you know, he's like, hey, why don't you come out and hang out and have some fun, bring the guys. So that's what we're doing, you know what I mean? We do music, we love it, we love rock and roll, and we want you guys to rock with us and um, check out Simon's movies, Hebristophilia, and I think Blood Runs Thick is the other movie that has a few of my songs in there as well. So. For people that don't know or are not familiar, how would you describe your music? My music is rock and roll. Yeah. Do you sing on it? Oh yeah, I definitely like, like heavy metal or? Well, it's rock and roll with some uh, elements of metal and punk and it's freaking just good rock music, you know what I mean? Check it out. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, I, I, so I might have 
heard it. Yeah, there's a song called Kill Again that's at the very end. Yeah. And that's my song. I like that and song. I did. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's right, right. We have sometimes. Yeah, it's a really fun song. Wow. But so where are you originally from? Um, I'm from Northern California. So, and I, I like being from Northern California because I think the people there are very chill, as opposed to out here. But I love being out here as well because this is where you come. It's a mecca of people doing music together, and then you get the best musical energy when you're around other people that have it. So these guys, we all get together, we create, we have a lot of fun, and um, our last recent thing we did was the uh, Ride for Ronnie, but we also did Motorhead to Motorboat with Anthrax Slayer, Suicidal Tendencies, um, and Motorhead, of course. Lemmy Kilmister actually took me on the boat, me and Charles was there with me, and Johnny hadn't become a part of us at that time, but his freaking energy was there. It was there. It was going to happen anyway. Spirit. Yeah, in spirit. But yeah, so, you know, we're... Yeah, I'm, I'm the first uh, black or African-American female to ever tour an all-metal tour with Lemmy Kilmister. So we're on a journey, and we're just doing music, and we want people to feel good. We want you to smile, and we want you to rock out. Uh, black girls rock. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, my name is Sonali Castillo, okay. and I am an actress and model. Okay. What brings you to the festival? Uh, the festival. <laughs> Yes, the festival. Big um, it is a big one, and I'm actually really excited about this one because uh, with Lucky Strikes, a company, um, what they're doing right now I think is really amazing, giving a lot of filmmakers and actors and artists a chance to showcase their work, where in other mainstream festivals and you know bigger venues wouldn't allow them to show their work, he's giving them the chance. So I think that's amazing. So this is very, very exciting. Yeah. So, um, you said you're an actress, right? I am an actress. Okay, so what's your latest film? Ah, I actually, on Sunday, I just got back from filming a lead role uh, in a movie called Variant. It comes out in February, and it is a sci-fi thriller. And I am not allowed to go into details because it will give away a lot. But um, I am really, really excited about this. Congratulations. One. Thank you so much. It's, it's uh, my biggest role to date. It's a lead role. And... Um, and it's going to be funny because a lot of my friends are going to look at it and go, so where's the acting? Because that's just pretty much you. So <laughs> it's one oh. of those. Yeah. So when I watch this, I'm like, that's how she really is. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. That's how she really is. It's all good. It's, it's all this is not real. So where are you from? I'm originally from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, and I grew up in France, which is why this little accent thing okay. action is going on. I was like, oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't figure out her accent. Hey, yeah. That's why. That's why. Yes, I am ethically ambiguous. Yes. That's good. Yeah. You can fit anywhere. I can. I can. And um, hello. We, you know, we could have a lot of people jumping in the whole time. And it's just, I don't know if they just don't see the camera or I'm not sure. But you that's know, okay. So much going on. I'm shocked it's, that everybody's keeping but you know what? The world out there knows we were really at a film festival. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not a joke. And did you see the, I mean, is it getting this turnout? It's incredible. It's huge. It's, 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 I am so happy, so, so happy how yes. big the turnout awesome. is. So, yeah. what can we expect next from you? I know you're in the next movie, but oh my where gosh. else can we, we see? Baron. Um, well, right now, I don't know if you if you do Netflix at all, but I am on Netflix right now with a movie called The Saints with Elijah Dushku and Adam Rayner. Um, I get to play a badass. Yes! Um, but still sexy and cute, Mom. Um, <laughs> just a lot of gun pointed at me, you know, that's all. Um, so that's, you can see me on Netflix right now with that. And I am like, with this beautiful lady, tell the world who you are. Hi, guys. I'm Bobby Chance. I I am an acting coach to celebrities and up-and-coming actors as well. Wow, wow. And a lot of fabulous people that I have worked with and been really lucky and fortunate to work with. Yeah, wow. So what brings you to this festival? I am getting an award. I believe I'm getting a Lifetime Achievement Award, which is really, really cool. That's which is so really exciting. Cool. I'm an overnight success. Yes, cool. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank that's, you. that's a wonderful Thank achievement, you. and it's always beautiful when you can be honored for something like that. So tell us about some of the work you've done. Well, I have. what I do is I mold actors. That's what I do. I mold, I mold I work with Scarlett Johansson, I work with uh, Drew Barrymore, I work with Giovanni Rabisi, Brad Pitt's been to my acting studio, a lot of fabulous people. And I have been fortunate enough to work with them and turn them into 
artists. Okay, wow, that's fabulous. And I also work with uh, abused children for free arts and make sure that they get to do something that's artistic and freeing for them, you know. That's, so that's beautiful. That's the blessing for me. Wow, that's the blessing. So do you, do you mold um, reporters, like media people? So I <laughs> Well, you know, I work with a lot of very fabulous people, super fabulous people. I, I'd, love, I'd love for you to uh, maybe come up to my studio. That would be I really would cool. To come I'll here. make sure. I'll give you my... I'll give you my <laughs> but this is great. Romaine is wonderful. It's the first film festival, and uh, I get to be honored in a Lifetime Achievement Award. So, so, so it's very, very cool that and we're doing that. So one last thing, because I know you have to get inside. Yes. But today is Romaine's birthday, and I've been asking a lot of different people. Oh. You know, this is his first film festival, yeah. too. Yeah. Very big deal. Yeah. Do you have any special message for him on this evening? Yeah, Romaine, you're an artist from the very beginning that I met you. I love your passion. I love you as a human being because you know how to give back. You're not just for Romaine. You're for making things better. And uh, I love you for that. Happy birthday. And I'm standing here with these two awesome people. Tell the world who you are. Danny Logan. And William Romeo. I understand that you're in some of the films, right? I'm getting ready to do one, the assassin one. I think we're in the same film. <laughs> yeah, we are in the same film, actually. That's right. That's right. We sure are. We won't be doing martial arts with each other. I, we won't be fighting each other. Yeah, we won't be fighting each other. I would never hear the one. She's beautiful. So uh, tell us a little bit about your acting work. My acting work, well, I'm a former American gladiator. My name is Mayhem, and now I'm recurring on, a, on the number one kid TV show in the world called Henry Danger on Nickelodeon. My character's name is Bork, and that cast and crew are just awesome. I love them. I can't wait to get back on the set with them. Wow, that's awesome. And then right now, I'm working on, working on this film with Romaine and going to Australia, going to Bulgaria, going to New Zealand. You doing all that? Where are you going? I have I, I have I have a couple of vampire projects to work on. I'm doing a horror film in Australia. I can't say the name of them yet. And I'm getting ready to work on a fitness video called The Body Shop featuring funk and fitness. And we're going to get everybody in shape. Okay. Young and old. The Duke and Duchess, we need a, a good workout plan. I got you. So. I got you. I got you. And you're going to like it. It's going to be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And, and Denny, Denny explained to me how we can make it fun, and I went, oh, that's a great idea. So make it don't have me bad. Don't have me bad afterwards. Yeah, well, nobody didn't the last workout work class I was in. Last workout class I was in, I was bad. Yeah, I know, huh? Yeah, yeah, no, we're gonna make this some fun. You'll like this one. Yeah. All right. So that sounds really exciting. Where are you from originally? Houston, Texas. Wow, yeah. Houston. Yes, yes. Wow. You know, obviously, you know about Harvey taking everything over over there, and we're trying to raise some money over there to, you know, to take back over there. Hopefully, I can get the, get over there before Christmas with a large amount of money to help. So right. that's, that's amazing yeah. that you have compassion for where you're from. So you, <laughs> an outfit. yes. First Look of all, the outfit. Pants. I saw you from far away. Okay, <laughs> I was like the pants, the jacket. The tie, bling bling. She got the cleavage popping, you know. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your outfit. You don't have to talk about anything you don't want to talk about. But <laughs> this is. Well, tell them what our outfit is from. Yeah, let's talk. Tell me about her outfit. Oh, well, let me tell you about her outfit. First, you got to look at those red pants and that and that and that and that booty in the red. Pants. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> you got to be over 21 to watch this. Um, <laughs> The clothing that she picked out today, and we've been we spent like what three hours today. Yeah. We went to Cosmo, Cosmo on Melrose. There's Cosmo Black and Cosmo Glam. Yes, and you guys are awesome, letting us wear these clothes. We're gonna use you again all the time. Definitely. I love the bling bling tie. I know it, huh? How can I get one she of those? I didn't want to wear it. I was like, no, you got to no, wear you have that. To wear it. It's everything. Like, <laughs> your outfit is already good. So, today is Romaine's birthday. 
Yeah. Yes, his birthday is the same exact day as my father's birthday, too. Wow, yeah, happy so birthday to your daddy. Right <laughs> and it's his first big film festival. Yes. Do you have Congratulations, Romaine. Man, I'm so proud of you, brother. When I'm not beating people up on the American Gladiators and doing that wonderful show American, Gla uh, American Gladiators and Henry Danger, I'm watching Duke and Duchess TV. That's it. Thank you. But I'm here with Dr. Iyad Hajaj. How you doing? I'm doing good, Did thank I you. Say it right? Iyad Hajaj. Yes, I like that. <laughs> you have to smile when you say it. Iyad Hajaj. It has to open your mouth. It's Iyad Hajaj. Open, yes. Yeah, you should tell people like to take a picture saying Hajaj. <laughs> Hajaj. Hajaj. Yes, that's how it is. How are you doing today? I am really good. See, really I love happy. your smile. I see you everywhere. Yes. And every time I see you, you're smiling. Thank you. That, that lovely energy, you know. Yes, I'm, I'm happy. I'm having a blast today. Yes, I love it. So, you're at the film festival. I understand you've been in a lot of films. I was just saying how I saw you in that commercial. Yes. <laughs> how are things going for you right now? Well, things are beautiful. Um, you know, I, I'm an actor and a filmmaker as well. So uh, on the acting side, I've done a lot of guest star on TV shows and different films and stuff. But I'm also a filmmaker. Um, my last film, I had Malcolm McDowell and Robin Givens called Dreams I Never Had. And actually, it is going to open San Pedro International Film Festival next month. And uh, also, there is another festival. I can't announce it because it's not official. Uh, but for sure, next year, it's going to be at this festival with uh, Lucky Strike, for sure. Wow. So, Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. It's beautiful. Wow. So you're also a doctor. I am a physical therapist, so I am a body doctor, and I have psychology background, and I'm a mind doctor, so I can do both. You can do both. You're like a one-stop shop. A one-stop <laughs> shop, yes. <laughs> I don't know how they came up with that. I like that. But, like you know, that. if you need advertising, you know, what's well, up? <laughs> yeah, please, please, yes, yes. I actually do healing, and I help people, because I don't do that for a living anymore. Uh, my, my focus now is, is film. Uh, and TV, so I just act and make films. So how did you go from medical field to film? You know, psychology helped me a lot in, in portraying characters, but it was an accident. Uh, I was an actor as a child, and I came to the States for the opportunity, uh, the land of dreams and dreamers. And I was doing my, my, you know, my work, my regular work, and uh, in the Bay Area and uh, students from Stanford University wanted to make a movie and they were looking for an Arabic actor that speaks Arabic. So somebody came to me and said, hey, you want to read for this? They're looking for Arab actors. I said, yeah, I love art. La let's do it. And I auditioned and I, I, I got the job and it took off from there. Wow. And then I decided to leave my jobs, quit everything and I moved to LA. So, so you're not doctoring anymore. I'm not a doctor anymore. <laughs> I'm doctoring, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> you know, it's like, I still, I still like to help people. I like, uh, you know, if there is a, a physical therapy issue or a body or a joint or thing, I still give advice and stuff, but I cannot treat officially. Yeah, but I still help and I give massages and- you Give massages? Yes. Oh my goodness, I need a massage. <laughs> well, any nuts, any little product, I take care of all of those, yes. We're talking to the right guy. Right you now. are talking to the right guy, so it is there. Uh... So, today is Romaine Simon's birthday. Yes. And it's his first big film best. And so, I've been asking a few people, you know, here and there, if they had any type of message or statement that they wanted to give him when he watches this. Well, uh, you know, Romaine is a friend of mine and he is a dear friend to me. And he's a very giving guy. He helped me a lot with my film, and I helped him with his film, and we got to work together. So I want to tell him that I love you, I love your spirit, I love your energy, and I believe that you will be somewhere even bigger, and your festival will be a lot more, because I see the love that people give him. They always come and, and support him and come to his um, events. That's because he helps and supports people. And you know, in, in this town, people, you know, they, they are attracted to positivity and, and good people. And as you see, there is a lot of people here. Yes. Yes. Hello, my name is Dr. Iyad Hajjaj. When I'm not making movies, when I'm not acting, I am watching Duke and Duchess TV all the time. <laughs> I'm standing here 
with Grandmaster O'Neal. I feel like I should like bow to you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Seven time world champion in karate. So yeah, absolutely. Where have you been? Yeah. I, I need security. <laughs> I need security? Hey, I can teach her. I can teach her whatever you want to learn. Teach, teach. You know. I want to fight. You want to <laughs> fight? Okay, well you start off at the beginning, okay. white belt, move your way up, learn how to do it. You, you know? teach class? Yes, I'm from New Orleans. My name is Grandmaster Eric O'Neill, and I uh, flew here yesterday to see Jackson Boat. It was done by Grandmaster Robert Parham, who I used to compete with all the time in tournaments. He's like my little brother now. But <laughs> Jackson Boat movie was totally outstanding. I mean, I really, really enjoyed the movie today, and uh, you know, I'm excited to be here. Okay. Let's talk about your outfit. Cause I love the outfit, you know. You. Sometimes we don't talk about the outfit, but okay. this is a good outfit. You Thank know, you. I love the print. Oh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah. And so, you know, do you want to talk about it a little bit? Where you got it from, or, uh, or who made it? Yeah, I had it specially made. You know, I have a tailor that makes my clothes because I like it a certain way as a fighter. You're built a certain way, you gotta make it show. So I gave them the material that I wanted, and of course they put it together exactly the way I wanted. So, so aside from that, what can we expect next from the Grand Master? <laughs> well, uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm working on major projects throughout the country that makes a difference with children's lives. I've been working with Miss Obama for like seven years with the Let's Move initiative. And one of the things that I'm doing right now is a program called the Lion Man's One Million Kick Challenge, where I go around the country to 20 cities and then I promote kicking obesity out of America. Wow. Give kids awards, give them all kinds of trophies and certificates and etc. And it's been really, really an outstanding program. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Really awesome. So, what can after, aside from that, you know, today is Romaine's birthday. It's whose birthday? Romaine Simon's birthday. Oh, Which really? Birthday. Okay. All yes. right. I don't know if he told y'all, but happy we, birthday <laughs> to you. And this is his first big film festival. Right. So, do you have any message for him? Well, look. Excellent job. This has been tremendously successful from the moment I got here. I've been here for several hours now and nothing but people has constantly come in. Uh, the movie Jackson Boat has got like five star reviews today. I've heard nothing but good things. Oh yeah, and everybody's come from all over the world. Like I said, I flew in from New Orleans. I know people flew in from other parts of the country to come here to uh, promote and to support Robert Parham. I also had an opportunity to see a few other movies. Mm -hmm. Those movies was awesome as well. Yeah. And I know they're going to be doing an award thing a little later on, so I'm staying here waiting to see yeah. who got the awards and etc. You know, but uh, my advice to him is to continue what he's doing. Because if he get this type of result and just, you know, the first year, Beautiful. you know, I'm going to tell you, he's going to need a, 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 a stadium, yes. you know, later on. You Absolutely. know, and that's where it's all about. It's about putting that effort forward, well, you know. Thank you so much for doing this You're interview. You're welcome. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much. And I'm here with actor and singer Hovannis. Yes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm having a blast. I like your glasses. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you to the festival? Um, I'm going to perform today, as you said, I'm a singer and actor, I'm in a couple of movies here, and um, I'm going to sing today three songs, What a Wonderful World, Georgia On My Mind, and New York, New York. Did you like them? Uh, very classic. That's special for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping something I could like dance to. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but those so. are good songs too. I like, I enjoy classic yeah. songs. So, um. I hear that you're very notable. Can you tell some people who don't know about your previous work? Okay. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Hovannis Babakanyan. I'm an actor and singer. Originally, I'm from Armenia. So I live here in America, in this amazing country. And I love this country. I love the people, everything and everyone. So what else? Uh, you can find me on Facebook. My name is Hovannis Babakanyan. What else? Nothing. No. It's <laughs> all about me. That's all we need to know. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time to interview with us. Do you have any special message for Romain Simon this evening? Oh, first of all, I want to say happy birthday, man. I wish you all the best. You know, my family and I will love you, will respect you. You're a talented, motivated man. And yeah, really, he's a really motivated awesome man, right? Yes. Awesome, awesome guy. guy. And he's blessed. So, God bless you. And I found on the air. <laughs> Yay! 
I finally run into this beautiful woman. Oh, oh my God, where have you been all my life? Oh, I've oh. been around, baby. You're the one that's been running away from me. I, I don't know what you're doing. I'm so sorry, but we're reuniting. That's all right. We're, we're back here it again all so over good. again. <laughs> so your outfits are always on point. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And so are your dresses. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you know what? It doesn't really matter what you wear. This is what you wear. And I love that. Oh, it's that great smile that this woman has that makes it. Can you get the shoes? Get the shoes. <laughs> and the pants. Those pants are cool. You should let me borrow them. <laughs> I don't know. I may not be able to fit them. Uh, we, we, can, we can manage to stretch we'll them. You'll be on the board. bed like, uh, right. <laughs> come on, baby. Right. You can fit. <laughs> Right now? I'm doing got? a lot of modeling right now okay. at this moment, but you yeah, should. we're going to start on a new a comedy, which is going to be great. So I'm looking forward to that because I love comedy. Good. I, I mean, too. I love action, but I like comedy. I, I always love a good laugh. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And so what else is going on? Just a little bit of everything. I'm doing something down south in Baja, a little bit of working with the children, mm -hmm. you know, getting them ready for a little bit of acting classes. So that's always good. Awesome. Yeah, any, awesome. Anything that we can do to help out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any message for Romaine Simon? It's his birthday today. Oh, I just want to wish him a, a very, very, very happy birthday and hope that God blesses him with a lot more, many more years. Yes. So, he will. so he can continue to give us great, great movies and everything that he does. Yes. So, yes. Hi, my name is Javier Caceres and I'm an actor and a model. And when I'm not modeling and when I'm not acting, I'm watching the Duke and Duchess. Duchess. TV. And TV. Yeah. <laughs> I had to get it right. I, it wasn't scripted. I just was trying to get it right. On the fly. On the fly, baby. <laughs> and here I have the beautiful and young, talented Nikki D. Nikki D. Yes. In the house. <laughs> and and this is my man. Good job. Always a great job. Always great to see you guys. Thank you for having me on. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. And may God continue to bless you guys with many, many more years, so you guys can continue sharing this lovely. Yes voyage that you guys go on every time that I see you guys so yes it's absolutely Thank great you. hey one for the picture yes and I'm here with this beautiful lady tell the world who you are hi I'm Ayo Shitu I'm a acting extra I yes I'm in here in Hollywood I'm having a great time well welcome welcome what brings you to the festival well I have a few friends and a few independent films um it's not as easy as what it looked like. <laughs> really, I mean, to get into acting business, I feel like you really need to be experienced and know what the directors expect of you. Um, my experience, anyway. <laughs> so how do you like it so far? Oh, I love it. I love it. I hope to be doing a movie sometime soon. Um, you got to look out for me, Io She Too. But, um, you know, it's, it's definitely, it's been a journey. And I think there's going to be a lot of winners, deserving winners tonight. And I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, what can we expect next from you? Uh, well, um, I've been doing a few videos, but um, hopefully uh, you'll be seeing me in a movie coming up. We'll see what happens. Okay, great. Do you have any message for the community? Yes, I do. Don't give up. <laughs> and do you have any message for Romaine Simon today? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, who? Romaine Simon, the director. Oh, yes, Romaine. He's wonderful. Um, he's from Ghana. And you know what? It's very beautiful to see people come together and help each other out from different communities. Um, directors have it hard, just like actors have it hard. But you just have to keep at it and keep going. And, you know, you will succeed, succeed in, the, um, in the long run. Absolutely. Well, thank you for doing this interview. You want to give them your social media one more time? Sure. I'm AYYO8420. Um, that's me. Or 84, I'm sorry. AYY, that's my other Instagram. It's AYYO84. It's IOSHE2. I'm also on Facebook. You'll see a picture of my face. And, you know, I, I this is what I do. And that's why I come to Hollywood. This guy's excited. Look at his vest. It's awesome. Tell him who you are. Tell him who you are. Um, I'm Robert Coffey. I'm an actor and magician. Magician? Yes, you gonna make people disappear? Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> yes. I got a list at the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> so what brings you to the festival? Oh, I'm here to support all my uh, favorite actors in the films. Um, oh, it's a great day uh, to meet everybody in the past that I haven't seen in a while. It's great. It's fun. And to have an interview with Duchess TV. Yes. I, it is a blessing to be interviewed by me. Yeah, right <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not that conceited. <laughs> yeah, so, so happy to be here. I mean, so uh, tell me about your magic. You do magic shows? Oh, no. Yes, I do. I actually, I've uh, I per performed for 38 years. Uh, I was 
uh, taught by Harry. For 38 Bob. years? Yes. You don't even look 38 years I'm old. 47 in two weeks. <laughs> what kind of moisturizer do you use? <laughs> Is it magic? <laughs> it's magic. It's magic. <laughs> wow. Um, I just, I've, uh, I've acted in uh, 23 films. I'm on IMDb and Instagram. You guys hit me up on Instagram. Yeah, tell, tell them your Instagram. I'm on uh, actor Robert Coffey, C-O-F-F-I-E, on Instagram. Right, yes. And uh, I'm on, uh, you can go to my fan page on, uh, on uh, Facebook. Facebook. Uh, What's the name of it? Uh, it's Robert Coffey um, Fan. Robert Coffey Fan Page. Yeah, if you start typing, it'll probably get to the right spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So do you have any message for Romaine today? It's his birthday. Oh, whose birthday? Romaine Simon's birthday. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> party time. Yes. <laughs> That's my it, message. It is party time. You you, spit, you are like turned up today. Right. And I'm here with this gentleman. You may recognize him, and I'll let him tell you, but I'll go ahead and let you introduce yourself to the world. Hi, I'm R. Marcos Taylor. I played Shug and Straight Outta Compton and Surviving Compton, the Michelle A. story, and I was in some other stuff, too. Yeah. What brings you to the festival today? Oh, well, um, I'm in one of the films here, Jackson Bolt, and um, it, it was it was featured at 1 o'clock this, uh, this afternoon, and I was just happy to see all the guys. Uh, um, Robert Parham, he's the star, and um, we had a great time. Um, Fred Williamson was in it, and we had it was a great cast, and I hope it's a part two to it because we had a blast, and it was really good. That movie got great reviews today. I've been hearing great reviews all day. Yeah, so, good job. I had a great time doing it, and, you know, I hope we do it with good people. Good things happen. So, tell me a little bit about your experience. You got to play Shook Knight twice, and you're, like, kind of recognized for that. How does that feel? Well, yeah, yeah. I, honestly, I love it because I'm still working. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm still working, so... If I'm working, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, and my wife is happy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Was it hard to get into that character, or how did it feel? Well, that, yeah, because um, the director, he wanted me to be Method. So he wanted me to, to be him on set. That was like, you know, a little a stretch. And I was like, but that's what he, I had to do, so I did it. And um, there's a lot of things I don't remember. You know, honestly, there's a lot of things I don't remember um, in the film. So when I see it, it's like I'm seeing it for the first time because I really don't remember. I will say you did an amazing job. I saw both movies. Um, Surviving Compton, I think, was a little more in depth. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a, I played an angel and a devil in that one. I, I helped her and then I almost killed her. You know, uh, so, but... It shows, you know, different stories about uh, about the same people, and um, everybody has each story, and everybody wants to know about the NWA, the Michelle, the 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 Suge Knight story, all of them. So it's it's a blessing just to be a part of all these projects that I'm I was working on. So what can we expect next from you? Well, um, I did. Ba I was in Baby Driver that came out this summer with uh, Kevin Spacey, Jamie Foxx, and myself. And um, I just finished, um, I was in Atlanta for four months filming a new TV series called Step Up High Water. It's based on, um, from the movie Step Up. And um, it's basically, I, I'm not dancing in the movie though. Don't, I play, let's just play, I play a guy that does what he gotta do to get what he wants to get. And I'm in all the episodes, it's gonna be awesome. And Neo was in it, uh, Naya Rivera, Faison Love, a lot of a lot of great people, Carl Payne Jr., and a, a list of young great uh, actors, actresses, that, and great dancers. Any more Suge Knight roles? <laughs> not, not, not at the moment. I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> Just make sure the money right. Right. <laughs> well, you did a good job. Thank so. You very much. Hi, this is R. Marcus Taylor. I'm straight out of Compton and Baby Driver. When I'm not uh, working and, and making movies, I'm watching Duke and Duchess TV, and I'm loving every bit of it. <laughs> and I am here with Ms. Heidi. How you doing, girl? Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. So what brings you to the festival? Well, um, I'm an actress, so I'm SAG, and I do music. And then women is like my brother. 
So of course, I'm always invited to his staff. To Absolutely. So um, what films have you been working on? Um, right now I'm auditioning, but the film that I did, um, I have a little appearance on Chocolate City. Um, Chocolate City 2 actually, and I, I was on Secret Center. Um, actually I just did something with Brett Pitt, I can't really talk about. And then I did something with, um, what's her name? Eva Longueur. Okay. A few weeks ago. Wow, good for yeah. you. Yeah. So, um, are, how do you like the whole Los Angeles Hollywood scene? Oh, I love it, yeah. girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not standing here with this beautiful lady. Tell the world who you are. Hello, my name is Darielle Edwards, and I'm a model, singerist, actress. And what brings you to the film festival today? Um, to check out the movie. Um, I heard it was pretty amazing, so I want to see what it's about. And so you're an actor and a singer, and um, so what have you been working on lately? I've been working on my EP, so I'm finishing that up. I'm releasing a music video in a couple of weeks, so that should be exciting. Okay, a music video. Do you dance in the music video? Yes. Okay, girl, get it. Okay. I got my little 1970s on, so it should be okay. very exciting. How do we find you on social media? Oh, you can find me on Instagram, Dario underscore Trinice. Or on um, YouTube, you can find me under Paradise by Darielle, D-A-R-I-E-L. Awesome, awesome. Do you have any message for Romaine today? I'm proud of you. Continue to do a good job. Um, I hope the movie is great. I know it's going to be great, but I can't wait to see it. The first annual Lucky Strike Film Festival and Award Ceremony. Everybody welcome. Yeah. Now this beautiful young lady that I'm sure you're all going to stare at rather than this guy all night. Let me introduce her. This is Tracy Cowan. Tracy is amazing. She's a national fitness competitor. She's a national uh, fitness model. She's a personal trainer. She's won several, several awards. She is a life coach. She also also has her own radio show, TV show. Yeah. Everything. It's pretty amazing. Give it up for Tracy, everybody. Thank you very much. And my extraordinary co-host here, Ryder Davidson. He's an actor and a musician. He's a local LA guy now. You've been here for what, a year? Yeah, about a year. So you've been with all the musicians across the world for the likes of Pink, Sammy Hagar. How is that? Uh, boring, pretty, right? Pretty uh, boring, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's why I'm not a musician anymore. I <laughs> couldn't handle the lifestyle. He's also been in print ads with guests and also Harley Davidson. Can you show us your poses for Harley Davidson? Is it on the bike? Yeah. All right. All right. Just checking. I just want to make sure. <laughs> we'll keep it PG tonight. So welcome, everybody. Everybody looks fantastic. Thank you for joining us for the first annual Lucky Strike Film Festival. Yeah. So you know, it takes a lot of hard work to put these things together, a lot of uh, dedication, a lot of time, money, all those exciting things. But once it's all put together, then what happens? It'll just sit there on the shelf unless there's somebody to get it out there, get it screened, and in front of people. So that's what Lucky Strike Film Festival is here, is for the indie artists that are ready to get their films out. Feel free, not a problem. And so we want to really thank them and really thank... Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. Simon. <laughs> Simon. Yeah, I call him Simon. Simon, yeah. I, so I'm sure everybody calls him Simon. So let's give it up for Simon. Thank you so much for putting this together. Great job, Simon. It is a wonderful opportunity for films of all genres and filmmakers of all backgrounds. This festival will truly be a home to indie filmmakers and a new voice for artists, which will also allow for, and for talent and to emerge. This innovative film festival was founded by multi-award-winning filmmaker Roman Simon. In addition to writing, directing, and producing countless films and being a highly regarded author, Simon said it feels really good knowing that he created a platform for creative fellow filmmakers to showcase their work for a broad audience. Yeah! So tonight we have some amazing actors, actresses. We have some just amazing film people in the audience. Please, please, please 
stick around and enjoy the show that we have tonight because we've got some amazing awards. And if you're not receiving an award tonight, always remember you guys are all winners because what you do and what we're doing here tonight. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, Havanis Babakian. Yeah! And I think to myself, oh, what a wonderful world. Natalie, congratulate Natalie Byrne right here. Everybody, please welcome Ewart Chen. Give it up for Mark. Congratulations, Mark. Hey, everybody, let's give it up for Shane Sparks right here. Shane Sparks. But that dream that we all have that's burning right here is waiting for you. There's a special day just waiting for you. So for Best Animation, the winner for Sweet Tooth by Kelsey Winfield. Kelsey Winfield, are you in the building? Kelsey? This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> we'll accept the award for her. We'll accept the award on her behalf. Well, All right. Here for Elham Madani. Yeah! Thanks to all of you. I want to say thanks to all of you and uh, everybody that is watching uh, from overseas. All right, coming to the stage to present the best drama short film. Aid Hajaj. Where is Aid? Hello, everyone. And the award goes to Stranger in a Book. Yeah. For Mark Rizvani and Pignam Nivak or Nabil. Anyway, it's great to be here. Um, it's always great to support a burgeoning festival. Um, so thanks for having us. Um, we had a lot of uh, interesting times. Uh, making this film. Uh, it wasn't always so easy, but, but it, was, uh, it was a really great effort. Um, hopefully we brought some international perspective to it. I know it uh, screened a little earlier than most of you were here, but um, we had a great time and um, yeah, it's great to be here. Yes, um, I just wanted to say that it's such an honor to receive this award. This uh, film was a, a labor of love and testament of hard work for you, Mark Rizvani, our cast, our crew, Poonin Avab, his twin sister, who is our script supervisor, wardrobe lady, everything, you name it. Um, incredible cast, Christy McGinnity Gibble, Jean Mack, uh, I had the honor of working with them, Kristen West, Mark Lava, the list goes on, Rene Fuentes, Candy Fuentes. So a uh, big shout out to them. And I also wanted to thank Romain, Roman Simon. He is such an incredible person. And I've had the honor of working with him as an actor. Lillian Lev, star of Romain Simon's newest film, Habristophilia, which she co-starred with Quentin Aaron, who starred the hit box office movie The Blind Side with Sandra Bullock. She's starring in Romain Simon's action thriller film, Shadow Tale of the Assassin. Welcome, Lil. Welcome. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Caroline. Where is Caroline? Caroline Dupree. Come here, my, my dear. I have two goals. That is to get the character off the page, Bobby. Yeah. yeah. And the other one is to let people know if you have a major life change, doesn't mean your life is over, it means you have opportunity for new dreams. Yeah. OK. So, being a musician, I'm pretty excited about this one. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Sonia Harley actually made history. She is the first African American female to front person to ever play on a metal tour. So, if any of you are metal fans like I am, like Woo! give it up for Motorhead, like Lemmy, you know, Ace of Spades, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anthrax. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Slayer, Suicidal Tendencies, all those amazing. Let's give it up for Sonia. And her voice can also be heard in two of Roman Simon's films, Hyperstophilia and Blood Runs Thick. Check out her latest write-up by the Washington Times and catch her on tour with Doc St Rockstar Stripes. Sonia Harley is electric and simply living legend. Welcome. Hi. Yeah. Hey guys, how are you? 
Let me see you put your peace signs up in the air like this. Because that's exactly what we need in the world. And music is the one thing that moves the spirit, it moves the heart, it moves your soul. Find time to laugh every day and find the song that you love that keeps you going. Let's just say that, uh, Simon, we love you. Can we say that? Simon, we love you. Yeah. Oh. I awake in the night, searching for a light, looking out at the stars, thinking one of them could have been no ours. Ladies and gentlemen, Rita Gafari. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our rising star, Brooklyn Robinson. Yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you everyone. I want to say thank you to um, my manager, thank you to my mom. I wouldn't be here without her. Thank you to Simon for making all my dreams come true. Thank you. Oh, and happy birthday. Yeah. This is all Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Alexander Mann! Woo -woo! The man of the evening. And happy birthday, Simon! Um, but really, it feels so weird to receive an individual award when really the award should go out to all the people behind the scenes who do all the hard work and make us look good. We get all the glory, but everyone else really deserves it. Um, what's, you know, it's, it's amazing. The, the, the best award is meeting all you amazing people in this room here. As I look around, I see people from every continent, every religion, every race, and we're all united in love. And this is, this is where the world changes right now through our art. Uh, my brother, Roman Timon. He's the owner of Lucky Strike Films, a rising company in the movie industry. Simon started the company from scratch. And he's directed and written many films, and he's also the best-selling author of a book called Red to Black, The Power of Love. Um, Simon initially, initially started, uh, he wanted to get into film because he loved entertaining people as a little child and he wanted to make uh, motion pictures. Simon has overcome many obstacles. He's grown his company and he has big plans for the future. He states everything in life that you start, there will always be hard times, but you have to want it and go after it. He's been in the film industry for about eight years now and always wanted to have his own company. And who knows, maybe he's going to be, the, the Lucky Strike Films will be the next biggest uh, movie studio. Simon is very proud to have already worked with many actors that he dreamed of working since he started in the industry. Guys like Tom Sizemore, who's best known for Saving Private Ryan. Quentin Aaron, who's best known for Blindside with Sandra Bullock. Judy Evans, Eric Roberts, Chris Brown, and many more. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for mon frère Romain Simon. Merci. Yeah! Um, this is this is the first year of uh, Lucky Shark Film Festival, uh, with the help of everybody, including the filmmakers, my wonderful team, everybody that worked with me night and days to accomplish this. Um, I started this um, wanted to provide a platform for uh, every indie filmmakers because eight years ago when I started, um, my most difficult challenge was to show audience my film. And um, after I was able to uh, break that uh, niche and able to show my films to, to the world, and I wanted to do just that, do a shortcut and provide Lucky Shark Film Festival to indie filmmakers to come together, along with rising stars, everybody that's here to receive a award, and wonderful uh, actors that have been in TV for over 30 years, just doing what they love, because in the industry, it's like a roller coaster, it goes up and down, but which one of us is staying in because it's mighty shaky. So we have to keep following your, uh, our dream, we have to keep pushing forward. And this award I'm about to present, <laughs> uh, it's an amazing award. It's not just for uh, a beautiful person at heart, but a great, great, wonderful human being that not only she's a TV star, she also gives back. Um. I myself had the privilege of working with this amazing woman on the set of Blood Runs Thick. And I, I just have to say, I was absolutely touched and blown away by her kindness and her generosity. This is a woman who has a, a multiple successful career that spans multiple decades, who, who, who has had so many nominations, yet she st stood up on the set for hours, talking to all of us new actors, giving us encouragement and giving us advice. She even stayed after she was wrapped for two hours until every question was answered, until every picture was taken, all with an amazing smile on her face. Um, Judy, you, you're a perfect example of grace, integrity, and love. Thank you so much.
think I'm gonna ruin my mascara. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, it's an honor to be here tonight and to watch all of you focusing on your dreams, chasing your dreams, and achieving your dreams. That's what this industry about is about, and that's what our lives are about. Thank you so much for that. Happy birthday to you. among talented people. So now it's guaranteed that my coming year is going to be filled with talent, wonderful things happening because on my birthday, I signed my, I signed in myself with wonderful, talented people. Thank you so much for coming on the, on the One Wolf to make my birthday the best ever. Thank you. Yeah. The award for best action short goes to Among Us by Josh Gomez. <laughs> And uh, well, happy birthday to Simon, as I call him, uh, Simon in Spanish. <laughs> and uh, I want to thank, you know, uh, Solicito and Miso uh, for helping me uh, with this movie. It was a lot of fun, a lot of work. But uh, thank you very much, and uh, Simon, thank you again. Ladies and gentlemen, William Romeo, with him is Bradley James, star of Shadow, Tale of Assassin. Welcome to the stage. Thank you, thank you everyone. I brought my own prompter with me because my eyes are bad. <laughs> All right, so at Lucky Strike Films Festival and staff would like to honor Ayad Hajaj with the Achievement Award for his work in the industry. Woo! Yeah, come on, give it up, give it up! Yeah! <laughs> Be nice to everyone, work hard, every day and do not expect to be a star the next day just work and work and work and work and it will come thank you so much in the covenant house stephanie's cure creatively involved in many grammy and oscar winnings with her discography totaling over 1400 recordings and hundreds of gold and platinum albums to her credit give it up joyful joyful Lord, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love, hearts and fall like flowers before thee, praising thee the sun above, melt the clouds and sin and sadness, drive all the dark of doubt away. Uh, for the best documentary, uh, film star of, of Simon's Life of Gia, Carla Shorts, if you'll come on up, please. Woo! Hello. How are you today? I played the grandmother in Life of Gia, Roman Simon. He's a wonderful person, awesome. He taught me so much. He believes in everybody. For the love of power, ISIS crisis. The award for best docu film feature goes to Elham Madani. Will you please step down to the stage? Well, I went outside to make a live video for Simon. Thank you, thank you so much, Simon. Thank you, Lucky Story Film Festival. Thank you, everybody, to join and support this beautiful film festival. And I love you all, and thank you again. Jean Philippe, coming to the stage. And with Lucky Strike Film Festival, I'm, it's a great honor for me to be here on the first annual, and hopefully this is the beginning of a long relationship. And uh, happy birthday, my man, and uh, you're making Haiti proud as always. Thank you very much. Recently, Star and Roman Simon movie have reached Ophelia. So without further ado, please help us welcome Massey Furlan. All right, I want to thank Roman Simon 
I know Romain for quite a few years now. He's been working very, very hard in making movies. So let's hope that Donald Trump doesn't find out about him so he can continue to make movies. <laughs> Just like Simon, I'm an immigrant myself and we have to work twice as hard to follow our dreams. So it's nice that we support each other in this industry. Please put your hands together for Shane Sparks. This is why I'm here and I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you, Simon. I've been knowing Simon for a while and he's been believing in me ever since the first day he met me. Always energy and if you know Simon, every time you see him, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? You call him on the phone, what's up, brother? <laughs> Simon, it's three in the morning. But um, I love you for that and I appreciate you today, okay? Everybody, thank you. Actor, producer, Ian Hedges. Thank you so much, guys, again. I love you. Peace, love, and tolerance always. I always say the same thing again and again. Georgia. Georgia. Being the hottest and superwoman, as Simon calls her, to receive achievement in fitness award. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Give it up for Tracy Calvin. Wow, that means a lot to me. Uh, Roman, Simon, I just want to first off say thank you very much for what you do. Um, and believing in me and giving me an opportunity and a platform to be an actress and uh, getting into the action acting world and stunts. Uh, it's been very fun and interesting. I never thought in a million years a tomboy from Vancouver, BC, Canada would be doing and living my dreams. Unbelievable. Now they must fight to stay alive. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex D. Hung, Best Slasher, Slasher Award. Award. Congratulations. Um, Thank you everyone. I'd like to thank Simon and the Lucky Strike Film Festival for having Prey and Cold Blood in their uh, lineup. Thank you. Alright, I'd like to welcome to the stage Alexander Mann to present Achievement Award to his teacher, mentor, who plays a big role in his success, including winning Best Actor for Man Simon, Life of Gia. Um, I looked it up. There are 171,476 words in the English language, and you still can't find one that describes this incredible woman. And that's because when she was made, they broke the mold. Um, Bobby is so much more than an acting coach. She, uh, for all of her students, she basically allows us to break the chains of our limitations. She allows us to, uh, to follow our dreams. She pushes us back way farther than we're comfortable going. She's our lioness and she's our mama bear. And I'm so proud and honored on behalf of all of her amazing students to present this Lifetime Achievement Award to Bobby Shaw Chance. For many years we've been working with abused kids from free arts and taking these wonderful little fallen angels and teaching them improv and theater games that we do up at our studio and it changes lives. I have been super blessed to work with actors like uh, Scarlett Johansson and Brad Pitt's been to our studio, uh, Drew Barrymore, Giovanni Ribisi, Martin Lawrence, on and on and on. Uh, the blessings just keep coming. Anthony Hopkins, uh, Andy Garcia, on and on. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> What's amazing to me is that I get to take beautiful young talent and show them their greatness. And I always say to them, I can't flap your wings for you. All I can do is open the cage door. And that is an honor um, to be able to be chosen. And I have been chosen to do that. And I want to uh, uh, thank my daughter for pitching the idea, A Chance for Stardom. Allison Chance, Allison! Put your hands together for Jamie Benedict. But um, people, you know, there were pressures, social pressures to 
get a good corporate job and get married and have kids and all of this, which I almost did. And then I decided at the last minute to go out to LA with $600 in my pocket and pursue this dream of mine. But um, I think that the child inside of us has a lot to say and a lot of wisdom. And I think there comes a time when we really need to listen to that child. And I just want to acknowledge all of you for following your artistic dreams and purposes. And it's an honor to be here with all of you tonight. There's so much incredible talent in this room. It's just been, it's just been an amazing night. So yeah, kudos to everyone for following their dreams and not giving in to social pressures. And yeah, so congratulations to everybody. Thank you so much again. Rising Star Award star of Herbistophilia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the stage, Lillian Lev. Yeah. This is such an honor. I just want to say, keep following your dream, and remember, you never lose until you stop trying. Thank you so much, guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Robert Parham, Achievement Film Award. Come on up. I'm R. Marcos Taylor. I just act. I'm an actor. Uh, I try to act. That's awesome. God bless. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Put your hands together for Ariel Terra. Back to the stage, Havanas Abidabin, and for an entertainer award. Please come on up. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. This is um, such an honor uh, to receive this. Thank you very much. Where is my brother? From another mother. <laughs> Romain, where are you? Oh, nice. Thank you very much. But I have a surprise. Uh, thank you everybody for coming. So we're about done. Um, a lot of things that happened today wouldn't be able to happen without the media. So please stay. We're about to give the media that been with me since day one. And the media is just getting started with me. This is just getting started. But before we get uh, to the media, I would like to present for best uh, drama, uh, for best drama shot, uh, Josimas Vargas. Hello guys, uh, thank you so much. Um, I hope I'm not gonna take too long. Um, just be humble, guys. Okay, 4K, 5K, that doesn't matter. What matters is performance on screen. Thank you. Gregory Blair, where are you at? Gregory, come on up. Come on up. Gregory. This is for the best horror comedy garden party massacre. Um, I'm gonna be really brief too. I just want to thank uh, Roman and the Lucky Strike Film Festival. My cast and crew who really uh, are behind this 100%. Um, this, is, this has been the best birthday ever for me. To be able to celebrate with uh, everybody, great talented people under the same roof. Um, and a lot of things that happen in, um, in the industry would not be able to happen without the media. People that have been there for us, taking pictures, taking video. The wet carpet does not look good without the media. And for that, uh, a lot of them been with me for a very long time. Uh, we have Ryan who traveled all the way from New York uh, to be here uh, just to uh, cover this event and it is uh, just amazing. And this is the first year, everybody. This is the first year. Congratulations to everybody that won. Um, we watch all the movies over and over again uh, from Guardian Party Massacre for winning Best Horror Comedy. Everybody, congratulations. The cast was amazing. We have got to bring them back next year for the, for the cast. Um, coming to the stage to, present, uh, to receive uh, first media award is Vida Gaffari. Yeah, girl! Traveling all the way from New York to be here to cover this wonderful word carpet. My good friend and my new brother, Ryan Yerkian. 
Thank you very much, everyone. Um, I just want to make it short because it's already late already. So first, I would like to say thank you very much to uh, Simon who gave me opportunity to come to uh, LA, especially in Hollywood. Coming to the stage to receive Media Award, Mark Xavier. like the next media award to go to Guillermo Prano. Come on up. Well, we'll hold it on his behalf. Next up, I'd like to present this next award for media to Roland D. Guzman. Well, I know that you appreciate it. We appreciate you because we see you at all the red carpets and for all your effort and all the work that you do. Thank you so much, Roland. Thank you. Smith Media. Receiving Media Award. Thank you for this honor. And all I can say is, Simon, happy birthday for you. We love you. This is for you. Many blessings. And thank you so much. I'd like to present the next Media Award to Shane Sylvester. Come on up, Shane. So next up, I'd like to present the next Media Award to J.P. Bellelu. I knew I had to use my Canadian line one night tonight. Because I adopted these kids. We're from the same country, Haiti. And uh, for someone to come out of Haiti where Hollywood is something new, and for him doing what he did in such a short time in this town is unbelievable. And I want to thank you and say happy birthday. And next year we're going to break a leg again, right? Yes. The next media award I'd like to present is Orlando Jose. Come on up, Orlando. Congratulations. Uh, oh yeah, um, well happy birthday and thank everybody that um, believes in Roman Simon and I'd like to thank Carla and Lucky Strike Films and everybody here that put his dream together and let's make it happen ladies and gentlemen. Next up, I'd like to present this media award to Svetlana Krapovina. Okay, well, we'll hold this for Svetlana as well. Congratulations, Svetlana. Okay. And that's the last of the awards. Yeah.